Hola, community, this is Pablo Vázquez. Remember when the iPhone was first introduced as the three devices in one, an iPod, an, a phone, and internet device all in one? Well, the feature or the new stuff that I want to show you today on the image editor is a bit of uh, three things. The first one is a uh, feature that allows you to uh, toggle the pure emissive colors in the image editor. So for example, if you had issues in the past when blurring an image in the compositor and showing it in the image editor or when erasing alpha in 2D or 3D, well, now you can uh, actually have an option to toggle it so you can, you can, see, uh, you can see it with and without pure emissive colors. The second part is a fix. And the third part, I'm gonna learn in a bit. The fix, the fix this one, it's just uh, crazy awesome. I made this file here in, I have 2.90, 2.91 and uh, the alpha I just compiled. And let's open the same file in both. It's just uh, a very simple, um, very simple file that I made in Eevee. It's a little bold, it's very colorful. And we can see it actually here in the viewport. We can see it rendered. And it's just uh, just a little ball with uh, emission colors with some bloom. So let's render this. Let's render in 2.90 uh, and in 2.91. Can you tell the difference? The glow is there. The glow is still there. It plays well. The alpha blends well, pun intended, with the background. Finally, this being a long-standing issue, along with other issues, but this fix is not just a one isolated fix, it's part of a complete rewrite of the drawing of the image editor. And with the drawing comes the third part that it would be like the internet part, but it's cooler than the internet itself because it's uh, the favorite feature of everybody. Performance. Performance. Let's see how it compares. I have a few files here. I have a, for example, Daily Dweeps, TIFF. This is a frame from the Daily Dweeps. It's, um, it's 8K stereo. So here we can see this. And then let's go here and let's see how they behave. That's okay. You can see this one is a bit more a bit faster. This is not too bad actually for 2.90. Let's go, let's go a little bit uh, deeper. Let's load a uh, Tears of Steel Bridge 16K. I'm gonna load, drop it there and then drop it here. And uh, let's uh, wait for my computer to chunk, uh, to, to, to crunch all this data and uh, show them actually. So 16K HDR image downloaded from um, HDR Haven. So Let's see what we have here. 16K. Let's see how this one moves to 90. And this one, battery smooth. Isn't that great? Let's go and let's, uh, I'm going to press H, go down two levels, and then H here, and then there. So this is smooth. Tuck, tuck, tuck. This is not smooth. You want to go deeper? Let's enable. Okay, now this is just showing off really. In view, I'm going to enable repeat image. Repeat image is tile. So basically it makes a, a copy of each one of these images. And here, let's uh, let's enable the tile then. View, repeat image, and let's see how this one behaves. <laughs> it can't even handle poor, poor 2.90. And this one, as expected, it goes like butter. Go here, image. Let's see that it's for reals. 16K. Let's go full float. Who cares? No optimization. 16K by 8K RGBA float. Moving like nobody's business. Isn't that insane? <laughs> and the poor 2.90 actually, they can't even show it. Maybe it's my graphics card. But um, this is makes a whole world of difference. It's really gonna make uh, ma gonna make things uh, a lot better for a lot of people. Um, here, let's see how <laughs> if I can even get it to see to display properly. Okay, here, this is the bridge from Tears of Steel, by the way. Let's say they make Tears of Steel two, and uh, they want to fix the sky. So okay, let's go to paint, and let's see if I can paint something here. It's actually better than I expected <laughs> for 16K. But let's see here. Let's go to paint and let's see. Isn't that 
smooth. Which, by the way, you know, I'm I'm painting in uh, a whole lot of places here. This is crazy, isn't it? Uh, it's just now. Nah, I'm not even gonna try two point ninety. It's like so broken. Oh, oh my gosh. Anyway, performance. That's part of the goals of the Blender two point nine, two point eight, and two point nine series on the goal to 3.0 because it's not only about adding new features and just adding yeah whatever is new in the market and just make it awesome it's performance because if it doesn't doesn't perform doesn't work in in all kinds of hardware and if it doesn't make use of your gpu as it should be then uh, what's the point so performance for the win it is amazing thanks to Jeroen Bakker for working on it it's just uh, just the crazy amount of work you can see more what he's been working on fixing stuff and now it's working on pop uh, overlays pop over for the image editor and uh, so much more so amazing work uh, you can get the image that i was testing on the tears of steel from hdr haven and uh, it's a 16k you can get the, the all the info here 300 megabytes each image i hope you like the, this feature I, I, I who doesn't like performance enjoy it have fun and i'll see you again in the next video ciao